Thank you. Uh, good ball game for our team, obviously. Um, we were very good on the mound. I thought Tyler did an outstanding job. And uh, it's been outstanding all year. This kid's um, started regional opener as a freshman. And uh, has been in a lot of big moments. But I thought he handled the stage and the setting beautifully. Our catcher, Colin Thoreau, caught a great game. It's a, a muggy, warm night. A lot of sharp pitches thrown hard in the bottom of the strike zone. He caught beautifully, blocked the ball well, and was a great target and great partner for Tyler. So compliments to, to the job he did. <clears throat> Our defense behind him was very good, and uh, that's obviously very important. Uh, the room for error in games like this can sometimes shift in a, in a matter of one play here or there. So we were good defensively. And you know, on offense, I give the kids a lot of credit. They went out there and put up a, an awfully good offensive out, uh, effort. And the output up and down the lineup was excellent. And there were some big hits. And probably most importantly, we continue to score throughout the game, which is important against a team that is uh, very talented and uh, of the highest quality. So proud of my team. It's, uh, it's a good night for us, but it's just one game. We're going to go home and rest and then uh, show up tomorrow and uh, start back over again with the preparation and focus necessary to play well again. Coach, what, what did uh, your, your approach or with Clayton, how you were able to jump on him so early? Our approach um, was to be um, in a good frame of mind and compete each pitch and trust the talent that the kids have and uh, enjoy the atmosphere and the setting because of what a special setting that is. And uh, really just trust yourself in that moment and, and not, um, <clears throat> you know, not get too excited and try to do too much, but rather stay within yourself. We had some good discipline at bats, I thought, early in the game where we, we took some walks and put some guys in position and had some, some key hits. So just compliment to the kids for maintaining their poise, uh, sticking to their plan, and, and really um, not getting outside of themselves because he's got enough movement on his pitches that if you do that, he can get some quick outs on you. So we just had to line up each pitch against him and compete with him because he's a fine competitor. Watching him on tape, that kid really knows how to compete. He's a good one. Corey, why were you guys able to handle this atmosphere so well and, and not be intimidated by what was out there? Uh, I just think that, you know, we kind of stuck together really well. Uh, we knew that uh, coming into this game, they were, they were going to be crazy. Uh, the atmosphere was going to be great. Um, I caught a lot of crap in the outfield. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. I think, I think we had fun with it. You know, we didn't let it uh, give a shell shock. You know, we just had fun. And, you know, we rode the energy, to be honest. We didn't let it, you know, bring us down or anything. I think we rode the energy. And you kind of see that in our at-bats and the pitches that were thrown to home plate. Josh, how big was it for your team to uh, score five runs in the third and take a commanding lead early in the game? I thought it was really important to score in the first inning uh, because I think it – it helps calm the nerves, and it gives this young man some room to go operate. And then to score again, now, you know, a two-run deficit is no big deal. A three-run deficit, no big deal. But then when you put five up, that takes a, just a little bit different uh, punch in the gut, if you will. And you know when you're going to go exchange blows in a game back and forth, uh, five is a little bit more uh, tough to overcome, especially early in the game. But that's a lot of innings to concentrate and get out such a quality ball club. So that's not an easy game to play because there's so many more moments and pitches that you have to be at the top of your game on that early in the competition. So credit to Tyler for really keeping a great focus. When they did get something going, he was able to, to stymie it before it grew into anything else. And, and I think that's a, a real big compliment to him and his maturity uh, and just the way he handled it. So, um, but the five spot was big, but I think scoring early and trying to control that, that awesome crowd and keep it at bay a little bit is, is an important part of playing on the road, especially in front of a, a packed house of great fans. Collar, what was the feeling in the dugout while all those runs are going on the board in the first few innings? Uh, that was huge. Like they said, it, it kind of um, takes the pressure off your shoulders a little bit, allows you to play a little more freely. Um, and we did a good job of just keeping our foot on the pedal. You know, we're a high energy team. We have, you know, our guys in the dugout do a great job of keeping everybody up and energized. And um, same thing with the crowd, you know, they kept us in it. We knew that we couldn't <clears throat> give anybody the, you know, the other team or the crowd at any inch on you know to gain on us so um that was huge um to score early and keep on it and buff did a great job of um setting them down Tyler, Tyler, you, <laughs> you you were able to, to get chris oakey there in the first inning after the walk to beer dispatched him rather easily did you feel like that set the tone for the way you'd pitch this lineup the rest of the evening well i really tried to set the tone before i even went in the game i wanted to uh you know, pitch with some tempo and trust that the guys behind me were going to be there because, you know, they're there day in and day out. Guys like John Littell throwing a guy out at second, Donnie and JR making great plays up the middle. So I tried to set the tone before I even went out there. But, yeah, that really uh, – that 
gave me a little confidence to go out the next inning and the next inning and the next inning and just keep doing it. Howard Clemson scored 42 runs in the last two games. What pitches did you really have working for you tonight that allowed you to stifle their offense? Uh, both my breaking balls are working well. Um, throwing some fastballs in, fastballs out, just getting some weak contact to go to those guys in the infield because I knew they were going to make a place for me. I think this was what, Tyler's third start. For those of us who don't follow your team, what was the scenario that I decided to start him tonight? Well, Tyler's been <clears throat> so valuable all year long. He's, he's pitched in just about every role possible. And uh, it's because he's a winner. And we've used him uh, all year to win, whether that was middle relief, long relief, close, which he did a vast majority of the season, or start, which he's done a handful of times. So Coach Walton really knows these kids. He knows Tyler. He knows where he's at right now with his mindset and his stuff. Um, and he had a great instinct that this was the right call to make. And uh, when you have a great pitching coach that has great instincts that knows his players, you have to really um, just trust that vision. So he felt like Tyler was a great matchup against a quality offensive team, that his four pitches would, would mix well, and uh, just felt like this was the right call for our team. And I couldn't agree with him more and felt real good about Tyler going out there tonight. Even though he has been out of the bullpen a vast majority of the year, he has made some big starts. He pitched against Dallas Baptist early. and. Through seven, seven really good innings against DBU, is one of the better offensive teams in the Midwest, and uh, has started a couple of games as of late just to kind of change that that tempo of not having to come in and make every single pitch with the game on the line, which he's done basically all year long as a closer. So, you know, when you line up in a tournament play, you're playing to win, and um, you know we line up our kids as we see them best to, to give us the best chance to win. Tonight, he was the guy that got the ball. Tyler, with that said, how does that help you in, in a game like this with this magnitude? that you have that closers mentality and you go out there and start again? Uh, well, all year I've just kind of tried to focus on being the same mentally no matter what I'm doing. I feel like that's going to set me up for success the best if I'm going out there to start the game or to close the game, to have the same uh, mental edge to just go and make pitches. Because if you make pitches, it doesn't matter if you're throwing one or nine innings. So. It takes the bump for you tomorrow in that, that last game. We'll go home here and hopefully have something other than a turkey sandwich, maybe a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, We'll think about it, rest, and see where we're at. You know, it's a time of year where you're constantly evaluating who you're going to play and who's the best matchup and digest tonight's ball game and what we saw tonight, evaluate what we have, and come up with another game plan. So that and I, I wouldn't tell you if I knew anyway because I wouldn't want the other team to be able to watch film on them. So I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no. Um, there's a lot that goes into making those decisions. I, and, and I mean that because we have two or three other kids that can start games anyway. And so, um, you know. There's two hungry, proud ball clubs that will line up tomorrow and play at noon, and we'll, uh, we'll be prepared for either one of them. That's what you have to do this time of year. You have to have a, you know, you have to know that um, you got to know your information because things happen so fast. So you got to be prepared, and then you just have to take what's in front of you and attack it. What is the feeling just knowing that you're one win away now? To be honest with you, we're past that. We've grown up. You know, we've been in, in, in different positions in the postseason, and you can't start thinking that way. We have a game tomorrow and a chance to come out and play well. And anything more than that would be against what we've worked so hard to learn as a group. And that's to be in the moment, play it one at a time. Tonight was a good win, but that's all it was was tonight. And we know that. And uh, as we said yesterday when we talked about winning the first game, this is a tournament. And, and you, you play them one at a time, and you play them in the moment with the right mindset and um, not put overvaluing one game more than the other. Um, because um, that, that's not the right uh, progression. So these kids know that. And we've worked hard all year long to learn that. And we've had our, our ups and downs to teach us that. So we'll stick to the lessons we've learned along the way and just show up with a good mentality tomorrow and play good baseball. Because that's the only way we, uh, we know how to do it. Thank you.